it really helps to understand the laws of the universe. It really helps to know that law of attraction is responding to your thought. Law of attraction is responding to you. You get what you think about, whether you want it or not. You strike balance sometimes with things you don't even want just by giving so much attention to them. So as a result of our time together, you're going to be clearer about who you are. And as a result of every day's life adventure, you're going to become clearer about what you prefer. And as you integrate your knowledge of the laws of the universe with your personal desires that are born from your magnificent journey in this life experience, then the perfect co-creative experience ensues. And we are eager about what you're living. We are eager about what's coming to you and through you. We appreciate more than you can hear with these words, your willingness to participate, not just in this gathering, but in the gathering of life experience. It's such a nice thing to be on the leading edge where all that is, is flowing forward into new experience. We want you to feel all of us here with you. We've got you outnumbered. <laughs> and we want you to relax in the knowledge that life is supposed to be good to you. Life is supposed to be fun for you. It'll be nice as you return moment by moment by moment to your conscious awareness of your own worthiness. So we have some time. You have some things you want to talk about today. If you do, we'll find you. Do not worry if we are not picking you out from the crowd today or ever, <laughs> because we know what you're about. We'll find someone, maybe you, who can express clearly what you want to know. So no one will leave here, not having heard what you came to hear. That's certain. So let's get going. Standing on your chair does not help. <laughs> We're looking for the balance of your desire and your expectation. Begin right here. How are you? Extremely well. I have a pretty simple question. I desire at this point in my life to become enlightened, to manifest and realize my own connection with source for myself. And because I would like to take the rest of my life and also help other people on that same journey. Well, you put those questions in the perfect sequence because everyone teaches through the clarity of their own example. Words really don't teach surprising. We offer so many, isn't it? But if we say something to you that you haven't had personal experience about, then the words don't mean that much. And so, you know, you were born for that. You came because you are an uplifter to the very core of your being. Why are you speaking of it as if it is a future thing for you? I guess because although I have plenty of experiences, I don't feel like I have a direct knowledge of that connection to source. I, yeah, I guess I don't feel like I have that direct knowledge. I, I do feel like it is there. I feel like maybe I have even had that before, but it doesn't feel present at the moment. Well, we want to say to you that this alignment, this being tuned in, tapped in, turned on this connection, this receiving mode, this art of allowing this hooking up to source energy. This is not like a college degree where once you have it, you've got the certificate and it's yours forevermore. It either is or it isn't in the moment. And you can tell whether it is or it isn't by the way you feel from what you just heard us say. And so the first thing that we would encourage you to do is no longer speak against it as you have just been doing. Now we understand that you're putting a question to us and you're saying, I want this thing I do not have, but the universe does not hear. I want this thing. It hears. I want this thing I do not have. And that's that wonky balance of vibration that we were talking about. 
So your desire is strong, but you're blocking it with doubt or you're blocking it with awareness that it doesn't feel like it's happened yet. Can you say it in a way that might let it in better? I want to connect with source energy and I want to know it because from my own realization, understanding and because, because I want to, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, because that's what I want because, because that's what I am because that's what's natural to me and because it feels really good and because nothing else feels so good and because it's what I was born to do and because it's something that I can easily do and because it feels so good when I do it and because I have felt it enough to know that I want it to continue and because I believe that it's there for me and because I know I can get better at it and because I want it because I want it because I want it feel the difference between desiring something. Let's say that you're really new in life and you've seen something that you desire and you just feel the freshness of that. Ooh, you want that. And nobody yet has told you that it will be slow in coming or that you can't have it. And so you don't have any doubt. You just see it and you want it. You see it in the little ones, don't you? They begin moving toward it. And you know, that look on their face, that look of delight, that look of I'm moving toward that, that look of nobody's going to talk me out of that. Well, that's the way we want you to be. That's what we want you to return to. But as you've had experience that makes you believe as you just expressed to us that you're not doing that, then that belief has to get out of the way. You've got to get rid of that belief. You've got to stop believing that before you can have what you want. Be gone. No. <laughs> you've got to stop believing that. So how do you stop believing something? Do you know what a belief is? A belief is just a thought you continue to think. So you must no longer think that thought. Can you do that? Can you no longer think that thought? Can you stop thinking that thought you're thinking? Don't think that thought you're thinking. Don't think that thought you're thinking. Don't think that thought you're thinking. Well, you can see how far you don't get with that because when you decide that you're not going to think about that, you're thinking about that thing you're not going to think about. And so you're thinking about it, but you don't want to think about it, but then you're mad at yourself because you're thinking about it. You can't stop thinking about it because law of attraction lurks everywhere. Law of attraction reads your vibration and gives you more. That's how law of attraction is. And that's why law of attraction and momentum are the same subject. So what might you do to slow and eventually stop altogether the momentum of those thoughts that don't let in what you want? And it doesn't matter what the subject is. How are you going to slow that momentum? Well, you go to sleep at night, that slows it. And when you wake up in the morning, you could think other thoughts if you were decided that you wanted to. But the best way that we've found is by setting a time aside every day, 15 minutes is enough to quiet your mind. Because when you quiet your mind, you stop all momentum of all thoughts. When you meditate successfully, we'll talk about it in the days that are before us. When you meditate successfully, you quiet your mind. And when you quiet your mind, you stop the momentum of beliefs. You stop the momentum of hindering beliefs. You cannot stop. We have not said this before. You cannot stop the momentum of what your inner being believes. Your inner being's beliefs, your inner being's knowledge of who you are and how this all works. You cannot stop those beliefs, but you could stop doubtful beliefs by stopping all thought for a little bit of time. And so when you quiet your mind like that, Esther likes that feeling because it feels like she's sort of floating. She can't tell her nose from her toe, you know, so feeling of detachment and she knows she's there because she's not thinking any thoughts. When you are in that detached state, you've suspended your point of attraction from your thinking mind. You've stopped thoughts. So you've stopped resistant thought and a wonderful thing happens when you do that. Your own personal vibration begins to rise and acclimate and connect with it sinks up. When you stop your thought through meditation, your vibration sinks, locks in to the vibration of your inner being momentarily. Now you can come out of meditation 
and go right back into a negative conversation with someone and you can lose that connection but when you sync up you're right there and that's what you're asking for that's what you said to us when you sat down here that's what you want you want that seamless transmission of your inner being and all that your inner being knows source energy flowing to you and through you with no tripping points with no resistance with no beliefs that are active within you that are getting in the way it's such an easy thing to do it's such an easy thing to do there is not one of you who cannot do that and when you get into that receiving mode you'll know it when you're in meditation because you'll go from a quieted mind to a thought that seems to come out of nowhere it didn't it's a thought that your inner being is thinking and it's a thought that you because you're not thinking in contradiction now are thinking too because you've synced up yes you've synced up with that thought and now you're having the thoughts of inner being in your mind you are tuned in tapped in turned on you are pure positive energy and because your inner being knows everything you've lived and everything you've asked for and everything you want now when your inner being is aware that you're tuned in now gentle at first but steady and sure clear thoughts will begin streaming through your mind answers to questions solutions to problems whatever you want the most significant thing that you begin to feel is an impulse to move an impulse to go there or do that in other words follow that impulse once you're sure that you've got it so it takes a few days maybe two or three or four or five or ten or twenty to sink into this and to consciously know that you have connected with that but once you do then there's no stopping you because a thought will come you will feel the clarity and the power and the viability of it you'll feel the vibrational accuracy of it you'll feel the love of it and the power of it you'll know and no matter what it is about Esther receives so many thoughts about so many things and at first when it wasn't about something that was of major importance she accused herself of making it up in her own mind why would Abraham be wanting to move furniture around why would source energy be guiding me towards something that doesn't seem all that important but it's because you've got a lot of things in your vortex and your inner being knows what your path is what your path that has the least resistance along the way your inner being knows what it is and so off you go in the direction of it you'll hear so much more as we're moving through the days that are ahead of us we know that you heard what we just said we know that you've had the experience of that quieted mind and we know you've had that experience of receiving some impulse when you yawn you're receiving that impulse your inner being knows your body would benefit by more breathing and that's hard for you to deny 12 of you did it just now <laughs> and so 